nice and early start here at the Hero World Challenge. I have the tournament host Tiger Woods here with me, as well as uh, Chairman Hero Motor Corp, uh, Mr. Pawan Munjal. You know, you don't usually take too many liberties with Tiger, but I'm going to perhaps start a bit left field because I was here in 2017. Yep. You spoke then about uh, you being a YouTube golfer for your kids. Yes. Uh, I actually went back on YouTube last night, looked at your clips of uh, the Augusta win. More than 2 million views, so back to being a current YouTube sensation. <laughs> but, uh, you know, while it was very gratifying for you as a golfer to get that 15th major, yeah. when I was watching those clips, the joy when you walked off that green and into the arms of your mm -hmm. family, that was what struck me. So was it more satisfying for Tiger, the dad, then Tiger the golfer to win the 15th major at Augusta. Well, it's different because I, I've never got a chance to share, you know, what it's like to have won a major championship with my kids. Um, that's something that hasn't happened. And unfortunately, it hasn't happened since what Sam was a year old. Uh, Charlie wasn't even born yet, and so they have no idea what it's like to be a part of a major championship. And they've seen me win. Uh, fortunately enough, now that I've come back and I've won. Uh, one at East Lake, um, they got a chance to see that. They got a chance to see their dad on TV in Japan, um, but not not live and not definitely not at a major. So uh, they've seen it on, as I said, on, as you said, on YouTube. And but it's nothing like it. It's, it's being part of the atmosphere, and then they got a chance to feel it, they got a chance to experience it. And uh, for me, seeing my son there, um, this came full circle. I mean, I remember opening my arms for my dad. And then, you know, having my daughter there and then seeing the, the one continuity through all of it was my mom. Uh, still a, a rock, still solid, and she was still there. She's been there through thick and thin from the very beginning. And um, I was telling her I was so thankful that you took me to all the junior tournaments. Because, uh, I mean, she would drive an hour and a half, two hours to have me go play a little peewee nine-hole tournament, you know, in Southern California during the summer. Um, and now to be the a Masters champion. I'm just so thankful to have her in my life. Yes, uh, I don't need to mention what you won when, since you've come back. You just said that. But, you know, uh, you won in uh, Japan. This was a championship. Mm -hmm. That was your record equaling 82nd uh, win. When, you know, you'd spoken earlier that you want to play golf without any pain. Mm -hmm. Now when you win, you consider it a blessing considering what your body's gone through and what you've gone through. Yeah, you know, I, I don't feel the pain that I used to. I'm stiff, <laughs> but I'm not, not, not in pain. Uh, but trying to figure out how to play around the stiffness has been uh, the, the, a challenging part. Um, I can't practice as much as I used to. I can't uh, do certain, I can't hit certain shots. Um, so trying to figure all that out on the fly and still be competitive, um, I think I've done a, a good job of it and hopefully we'll continue to get a little, a little bit more refined, a little bit better. Okay. Mr. Mujal, I'll get you in here because you've known Tiger for a long time. You know, you've seen Tiger uh, dominate golf. You've seen Tiger suffer when his body gave up on him. And now we see the return of the winning machine. It's a remarkable story, isn't it, of perseverance against the massive odds stacked against him. Absolutely. And uh, it is just stupendous. Uh, you don't see this, these things happening often. And um, I mean, you can only expect these things to, to come from people like Tiger. There are not many, many Tigers around the globe. Uh, it's it's a blessing and and uh, it's we are very fortunate at Hero to be able to associate with Tiger and and the the foundation and all the great work that the foundation has been doing. We are very happy and proud to participate in all of that. And I said earlier that we we hope to bring the foundation to India as well to do some work together, mm -hmm. um, STEM work in in India. People have been talking to each other. Okay. Uh, you know, you come from a country which celebrates the Olympics. You know, uh, a lot of your fellow sporting greats from America have been Olympic legends. I can start with Jesse Owens, uh, Muhammad Ali, Bob Beeman, Mark Spitz. I can go on to Michael Phelps. Yes. Uh, at this stage of your career, you know, what does the Olympics mean to you? Does that Olympic medal really attract you despite all that you won? Because when golf came back, you weren't around last time because you were sidelined with injury. So what does this uh, Olymp crack at the Olympics mean to you? Well, it's, it would be an honor. Um, anytime you get to represent your country, it's, it's a, truly an honor. And for me to have seen the Olympics um, when I was, what, nine, eight, eight nine, um, in Long Beach, California, where the archery was, uh, my dad took me to archery, and this is part of the Olympics, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. But I, for me, it was at that time was track. You know, Carlos was running. Um, the the 4 by 100 was like the race. Mm -hmm. And so uh, for me to see that in L.A. Uh, was, was pretty neat. And now to, 
to have an opportunity to actually participate in it and compete in it uh, would truly be an honor. I, I need to work my way onto it because right now I'm, I'm not in it, even though I'm seventh in the world. Um, top 10 are automatically exempt, but a uh, country can only have a max of four players. So uh, right now there are four Americans that are ahead of me, and uh, hopefully I can somehow figure out over the next season to get ahead of them. Okay. I did my research, so and I've been to three Olympics, so I can tell you that if you are there, and at the end of the third round, you're in contention. Then on the 2nd of August, 2020, the attention won't be on the men's 100-meter finals. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Tiger. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Munjal. And hopefully we have a great week of golf. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.